Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. We are at the Bathurst 500 this weekend in the V8 Super Ute. So it's day one, it is uh, Thursday morning. We're about to head to the track. Uh, we've got the track walk this morning and also driver's breeding later on. So I'll bring you guys along for the ride throughout the weekend. And um, yeah, and you get to kind of see the behind the scenes and get my thoughts on all the races and what's happened and whatnot. So, uh, so yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy. We made it to the track. Uh, they're just setting up, so we're just kind of hanging out, just chilling out for a little bit. Yeah, there's not uh, too much on today. The track off at 2:30, and yeah, got drivers briefing for later on. I think it's like 5:45. So yeah, not too much today. So this is the V8 Super Ute shared tent where everyone can kind of sit around, have a chat, have some food, which is pretty cool. And then we went for the track walk. So we went with the team, with everyone from Cedars. And man, what a cool place this is. I love coming back here every time. It never gets boring. Just, it's such a cool place. You know, just the wildlife around it and the kangaroos, which, well, luckily we didn't see any this weekend, but the 12 hour, if uh, you watch that, there was a kangaroo that ran in front of the track. But yeah, it's such a cool place. It's such a complex place to drive. It's definitely the hardest track that we go to to drive on. Like, you know, even like this bit of the top, you know, going for the great there, you know, that's tough. You know, Mephilomy, it's a blind approach and you can't see where you're going. You have to turn in before you see the corner. And then Skyline and check out the view though. The view is just incredible. This place is so cool. And that's the start finish line down there and the, all the pit area. And it's a pretty long walk. You get pretty tired after it, but yeah, you know, here's the dipper and skyline back there. Then we're going to Forest Elbow and it's so steep. The camera never does it justice, but it is so steep going down there. And then Conrod Strait, such a long straight. And we ran into Robbo, which he's a pretty cool bloke. And then the chase, this, you know, bit massive braking zone and very hard to get the car stopped here and turned and then you go down to the last corner and then we went back to the tent after the track walk and you know just looked around my car and talked to the crew and do all that sort of stuff but she looks ready to go she's looking nice and plain and white unfortunately we didn't get a livery sorted before this round it was quite a tight turnaround but we're here we made it and then i decided to sit my car and just fiddle around with mainly the shifting because i couldn't quite get the shifting right this weekend but There'll be probably something I have to fix at a later point in time. Alrighty guys, we've just done the track walk. We've got driver's briefing in about 45 minutes now. So yeah, the track walk was good. Learn a couple things, which was good. So yeah, now just got to wait for driver's briefing, which should be soon. So, so then after driver's briefing, that will be me done for the day. So I'll go back home and just have a good shower i'm pretty hot it's a really hot day today so i think it's going to be a hot weekend which sucks but that's all right i mean we're at bathurst i can't complain so yeah go home have a shower just watch some footage probably go to bed wake up early and we've got practice one in the morning and then we've got qualifying around two-ish i believe so so yeah so tomorrow will be a good day Looking forward to it. I'll catch up with you guys after driver's briefing. Alrighty, so just had driver's briefing. Uh, it was pretty good. Uh, pretty basic stuff, so wasn't too 
wasn't anything really that I didn't know, which is good. So now we're just heading back uh, to the place that we're staying and I'll get some dinner, go to bed, maybe watch some footage beforehand and yeah, go to bed and relax and I've got to get up early tomorrow. I've got to be at the track about seven. So yeah, looking forward to it. Practice and quality tomorrow. So yeah, looking forward to it. We'll see you guys in the morning. Alrighty, so we've made it to the track. I've just gotten changed real quick. Um, yeah, our session, well, practice one is about an hour away and just wanted to get changed just to be ready, ready to go. So I'm all changed, I'm in my gear. So that's good. And then, uh, yeah, practice one is coming up soon. So see how we go, hopefully we go all right. guys just finished up my first session in the V8 Super U and I think it was pretty good unfortunately our session was cut uh, short because right at the start uh, there was a crash down the S's so unfortunately we uh, didn't get much clear running but still um, I got a couple laps in the end got a bit of a read on the car and it feels pretty good so I'm excited to go into quali it's a shame that I don't have more experience but I think I finished up about eight in that session so I feel that's pretty reasonable out of 20 cars, so if I got a clear lap, that would have been good as well. So anyway, but it was a good session, so looking forward to quali. So we'll see how we go. Alright, so I think I forgot to record my reaction after quali, but I think honestly I was a little bit down on myself. I qualified 8th, but I was a little bit more off the pace than I probably would have hoped. But still on reflection, you know, this was my first round, you know, my first ever time qualifying and I only had two laps leading up to this. So qualifying 8th, even though I was a bit over two seconds off the leaders, but still, you know, there's a lot to learn and... There's plenty of time to learn all this stuff. So yeah, I was reasonably happy on reflection. Good morning guys, we've made it to the track. It is Saturday, race day. I'm pretty excited, but also nervous. Um, yeah, we're just, I think my plan for race one is just to get through it really, just get a clean start, just get through it, to see how I go, try not to make any mistakes and just try to um, make sure I hang on to the tire, don't burn it up. So we'll see how we go, but yeah, excited but quite nervous for race one.
Alrighty, so just finished race one. Oh, I don't mind my hair, it's pretty bad, but wow, that is wild. Um, oh my God, that is just so wild. I tried to just hang on. My biggest problem at the moment is I just can't find gears. I just keep getting the wrong gear. Like I'll try and get third, but I just keep getting fifth. So yeah, I need to work on my gear changes a lot because it felt like I had reasonable pace. <clears throat> I was kind of matching like what the guys sort of in like that uh, top five to three mark. Um, the front guys are pretty quick, but I was around the mark, but yeah, just couldn't find gears. So I got to work out what's going on with me because yeah, it's uh, no good not finding gears, but um, that was a lot of fun though. Like they're really, yeah, they're really fun to drive. They're really fun to race. Just, yeah, got to work on just getting the driving right. So yeah, hopefully I can sort that out in race two I'll go over some stuff so yeah I'll go over the data I'll have a look at the footage and I might get some help with you know just how do you actually like select the gears properly because yeah I'm making a meal of it so anyway it was really good fun I'll probably get changed but yeah at least we survived so that's uh, step number one we completed race one no marks on the car so I'm happy I'm very happy Alrighty, so race two is coming up. So it's a reverse top seven grid. So someone got a penalty ahead of me. So I went from seventh to sixth, which is uh, pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. So now I'll be on the front row. So I'll be second. So I'll be starting there. So I'll hit myself just slightly. Um, yeah, we'll see how we go. I talked with a couple people and I'll try a different technique with my shifting. Hopefully that resolves it, because that was pretty much my biggest downfall. So if I can get my shifting better, then I should go okay. Obviously there's a little bit more in it. I've got to find a little bit more pace, so we'll see how we go with that as well. I know what I need to work on, but yeah, the biggest thing is just relax. Smooth inputs, smooth the shifting, and yeah, we'll see how we go. So yeah, race two is not too far away, so I'll start getting ready. So wish me luck. Super Ute Series on track on what has been a very chaotic morning, Craig Lowndes alongside me for this one. Aaron Moore continued on the form from last year, but now had to do it for P7. Yeah, good afternoon again, and uh, it was much one of those races. The first race this morning was uh, had everything, had safety cars, had the Super 2 later today, Ward Cedars Marjoram in the top six. How close is this? Alrighty guys, just finished race two and what a race. I managed to lead quite a few laps actually, which was really, really cool. But I think I just got a little bit too excited. I um, went a little too late into the chase and then just went a little bit wide. And um, I just cooked my tires after that. And yeah, I just made a few mistakes. And towards the end, I got back into sort of a rhythm, but it was sort of a bit too late. So anyway, I still finished sixth, but to lead a couple laps, like. You know those early laps leading them you know that was that was pretty cool so i'm pretty stoked uh th that was a long race it was a lot longer than i expected so i didn't really account for the tires going off like quite majorly so anyway it's only my second race of this series so i'll get there i'll learn but man what a race that was good fun i really enjoyed that one so i'll get changed and 
do some data, but yeah, what a race. Alrighty, so it's a little bit later in the day now. I've gone over some data and footage and uh, we've come to the conclusion that I think we need to do a bit of an adjustment to uh, uh, help settle down the rear. It's a little bit too nervous, so we're gonna do a quick adjustment to hopefully settle down the rear a little bit. But other than that, I think my driving is slowly getting there. There's only two areas that I really need to work on now. So, uh, hey, look who it is. This dude, you're doing amazing. So Thank you. you, man. Thank you, man. Go the 86 boys. Let's go, go the 86 boys. Ah, uh, yeah, so slowly starting to get there and yeah we just keep chipping away chipping away at it but yeah so hopefully uh race free goes well tomorrow but yeah we're probably about done for today so probably catch you guys tomorrow guys so just finished race three a bit of a disappointing one to be honest i missed the gear going um like sort of uh through um up the top um going into the grate and had um a car go past but then i uh was hanging on for a little bit i got a little bit of a gap but then i missed the gear coming out of the elbow and then that's when things just went downhill I wasn't really comfortable with the car at all. We made a change and I think we made it worse. So we just kind of kept going backwards and then I uh, interlocked wheels at the last corner and uh, bent up the car pretty good. So anyway, a bit of a disappointing one, but that's all right. I'm still learning. So, you know, I'll know for next time. And yeah, hopefully we can get the car all fixed up and figure out what's going on and why I've lost all the speeds all of a sudden. So. Anyway, we'll sort it out. guys just finished race four so I'm done for the weekend we survived unfortunately at turn one on the first lap I uh, had a really good start and I nearly cleared the row ahead of me and then they kind of like sent it back in and then hit me and I went off the track so a bit unfortunate but it is what it is it's racing so I went from dead last back up to 12 which is not too bad of a recovery but yeah, it just sucks because uh, I'm doing so good at the start of the weekend and then just kind of dropped off a little bit. So, but at least the, my times were really good in that race. So, I've got the pace, just got to 
yeah, I guess work on my race craft a little bit. They race pretty hard, these boys, so. Anyway, that wraps up, uh, I guess, round one of the V8 Super Series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys very soon. Thank you for watching.